Today we're taking another look at Solana's Solcoin, performing some technical analysis and making some predictions on where we can expect to see Sol go in the near future. Let's get into it. Welcome back into Solana's Solcoin chart guys and as you can see we almost predicted this one correctly but unfortunately we did not manage to break through our 20 day moving average so we predicted the bounce correctly off our key point of support here at $170 but this 20 day moving average which was sitting at the time at about $178 proved to be too much of a resistance point. And we've come back down to this area of support here. Now that we're sitting on this point, either we're gonna bounce off it again, or alternatively, we're going to drop. And if we drop, we're gonna be dropping down to about 149, 150 on the chart over here. I'm gonna just put that line in place there. So it's looking like we could be moving in this sort of a direction. Also, there isn't a great pattern which has formed itself, unfortunately, as well. Just remove that data there. It looks like we are potentially seeing uh, what you'd call, I suppose, the reverse of a flag pattern, an upside down flag. So that's not really a good sign for us. So you've got the top end of the flag forming down here, and it looks like it has formed in a bit more of a pennant type shape, upside down here. Uh, I can't really draw it too perfectly. It looks I suppose a bit more like that but of course this is not really looking too good for us at this point in time it's moving downwards maybe a bit more of a descending wedge if we do just take out of this flagpole here unfortunately not looking very strong for us at this point in time so I would be cautious if you are looking to get into Solana at this point in time just due to the fact that things aren't looking too strong for us right now so Overall, it's based on the price action, looking like we are going to go down and hit 149. Now, of course, actually, I'll just touch on the volume. It looks like the volume is reducing, so I'm anticipating potentially we may see a little bit of a dump occur if a bit of panic happens and we keep moving downwards. But I also would like to note as well, if we do look at the MACD, we have crossed. So that supports that theory as well. We've had a cross downwards, the green one we had cross up for like a day, it was pathetic, not much really happened, and we continued downwards. So I'd expect, unfortunately, this downwards momentum to continue, and we're gonna be moving down roughly to here, 149, 150 mark in the near future, unless we do see a big pump for whatever reason, of course. RSI, let's have a quick look at you as well. RSI is sitting relatively low, 41.83, but there is still room for it to keep moving in a downwards direction, unfortunately. So overall, the trend at this point does appear to be downwards continuing, although it does appear that, you know, we do have some key points of support that will help us hold up above that 149, 150 mark. All in all, what would my target be? Well, my target would be ideal case scenario, we managed to bounce right now back up and test this 20 day moving average again, currently sitting at 179, but I don't think that's gonna happen. What I'm expecting to occur is we're going to be moving downwards here to the 149, 150 mark. That wraps up our analysis on Solana's Solcoin today, guys. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it down in the comments section below. Hopefully, 2022 is a great year for Sol and, of course, Solcoin holders. Also, if you did enjoy today's analysis, make sure you do leave a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of this sort of content, hit that subscribe button. I'll leave it there for today, guys. I hope you have an awesome day. I'll see you next time. Cheers.